Well, Corrie kept its big surprise back from viewers, namely that Leanne was the one inadvertently caught up in the Connors car crash. Here's Jane Danson with her reaction to the shot cliffhanger. So were you glad that the whole big reveal of Leanne being in the accident was kept a complete surprise from yeah, viewers? Yeah, definitely. I think it's um, it's always more interesting when people don't know because it's it's a bit more shocking and they don't expect it. I watch a lot of the American shows and we don't get the spoilers for them as, as often. And I quite like the fact that you've got to second guess things and sometimes mm. it doesn't go the way that you think it's going to go. Mm. Um, so yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed the fact that they've kept managed to keep this kind of out of everybody's view until it's it's on. I think it's more interesting, isn't it? Totally, yeah. And how much of it was real Jane and how much of it was stunt Jane? Um, well, we, we talked about it and they, they, they showed me the diagram of the crash and what they were going to do and and I thought, oh, I don't really fancy that. Yeah. Anyway, um, we, we had to, obviously we had stunt people around and, and then when we got on set, I kind of found myself doing it going, I'll do that. <laughs> kind of going to get a bit territorial about it. Um, yeah. But yeah, and do you know what was really nice? The, because we, it was quite exciting. We had a massive team, and we had all the stunt guys and the safety guys, and you know all the toys came out, the mm. cranes and the drones, and and I kind of thought this is a really lovely opportunity, and everybody had worked so hard on it. I felt like it was my duty to be involved as much as I could be. Um, also, we had um, we did a wide shot, and I think they did use a dummy because you saw the the car go over the dummy. I think okay. her leg got squished at one point, so I think it was a bit grim. Right, that's not in the final <laughs> No, edit, I don't think... It? And that's the other thing as well, I think what you've got to be aware of when you do all these big stunts is that it won't all end up in the, as the final show. Mm. So you learn a lot as well about, you know, what can be cut and what they need and what they don't need, what they speed up, what they slow down. Mm. Um, but it was a really interesting three or four days kind of working it all out. Um, so it, was, it wasn't like the everyday stuff, so yeah, yeah I quite enjoyed it. So, and it also serves, of course, as the catalyst to bring Nick back onto the show. Absolutely. We yeah. know he's, we've known that he's coming back, but yeah. not in this manner. Yeah. Uh, were you quite excited when you found out Ben uh, was returned? Yeah. yeah, Ben and I have been in touch uh, since he took a break. Mm. And then he phoned me one day and we were chatting about it. And so I've obviously known for quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, and I was kind of counting down the days because obviously I knew that this would be quite significant for Leanne. And I didn't know how they were going to bring him back. Um, but when I got the scripts, I thought, that is really clever. Mm. That is because obviously Gail's going to be fuming about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that paves another way for, you know, Leanne and, and Gail to have that kind of yeah. relationship again. Um, it's, it's brilliant for Ben because it opens so many things for him with all the various different characters he's involved with. But from, from Leanne's point of view, it's a chance for her to kind of maybe rebuild what happened when he left mm, so mm. that's always really exciting because it means I get to work with Ben. Do you think she'd be receptive to that then Leanne? I mean he left her in the lurch a little he bit did, didn't he? he? Did. And it's quite a lot to forgive. Yeah and I think she's she's a bit broken when she sees him she she kind of she remembers how mm. how hurt she was so it's interesting to play out whether she will forgive him or not but ultimately she's She's had quite a lonely time. She's been on her own. Um, her sister's kind of had the whole baby story mm. that they, they left her out of and, and she wasn't with anyone and she she felt a bit vulnerable. So it's it's great because it gives that really feisty character who's always a bit mouthy and a bit stroppy mm. to show a more vulnerable side. Yeah, and yeah. he's al he always brings out that vulnerable side in her because usually he fixes everything and last time he didn't he walked away so it's really interesting to play out and then um, like I say it's great for me because um, I'm a big fan of Ben not just as an actor as a person as well mm. so it means that we get to work together and, and we really enjoy working together so it's good. Keeps him out of, it keeps him out of Steve McDonald's bed as well doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I suppose. It's good though because all the main players are all in position aren't they? You've got Carla, Peter, Nick and Leanne. That yeah. is quite a quartet isn't there, it? There, there's potential. so much history between them yeah. characters and I think they're always looking over the shoulder mm. because someone's always doing something to outdo the other one mm. and there's various combinations of that four, five, six characters who are, are always dancing around each other um, we, we joked the other day it was like we're all, we're all in the scene together and I said it's like getting the band back together yeah. it's like you know it's, it feels right it feels yeah. good so ideally who do you think Leanne should be with uh, out of those two guys Peter or Nick there's history with both there but is. where does her heart oh, really lie do you think? it's so tough it's so tough I mean I think they both bring out different sides in her mm. um, what I will say is I think Ultimately, I think Nick is the love of her life. Mm. Um, 
but they've all let each other down in various different ways. But I equally love the relationship she has with Peter, that co-parenting with Simon, and he, that's not been the easiest journey. <laughs> and then she co-parents with Steve, with Oliver, and obviously Nick's in the middle of all that, and that causes a lot of frustration. Um, but I'm so lucky because they're all great, and we've, we all have different energies and different characteristics, and it's great because you get to share them between you all, yeah. which is great. So ultimately, I think, I think Nick and Leanne have always been sort of portrayed as like Romeo and Juliet. It's always gone a bit pear shaped towards the end. Mm-hmm. So I'd like to see them happy. That would be nice. What Ben was saying was that they haven't ignored all that history as well. They've kind of yeah. played upon it and he feels like the relationship is more mature than it definitely than it was. definitely. I think we've we've gone back and forth so many times and I certainly feel as as a viewer watching other shows people don't always buy that if you keep falling out of love and falling in love with somebody else you kind of go you're really lucky to fall in love once in your life you're really really lucky twice but five six seven times it's not it doesn't happen as often Um, so if they do focus on them as a couple I'd like to see them grow and face different challenges maybe with their families and with their children and how they deal with bringing up their children that Mm. still provokes a lot of drama but like you say it, it feels more grown up this time and because there's so much history floating around, hopefully they can build on what they've already got. Let's hope so. Thanks yeah. so much. That's <laughs> Thank great. You.